Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and there are loads of awesome announcements this week including EC2 Instance Connect is now in general availability. There are some new EC2 M5 and R5 instance types. AWS Systems Manager has a new feature called Ops Center. You can now capture and inspect network traffic using VPC traffic mirroring and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. EC2 Instance Connect is now in general availability, and Instance Connect is a brand new service which enables you to connect to your EC2 instances using SSH and centrally control access to your instances using AWS identity and access management policies. You can record and audit all connection events in CloudTrail, and it also supports short-lived temporary SSH keys. And Instance Connect is compatible with all SSH clients like PuTTY and OpenSSH, and there is also a new browser-based SSH client within the AWS console. There are some new extra-large instance sizes now available for the Intel and AMD-powered M5 and R5 instance families. So the M5 is designed for general purpose workloads like web, app, and dev or test environments available with up to 64 virtual CPUs with 256 gigs of RAM and 20 gigabits per second of network bandwidth, as well as a choice between EBS or SSD storage. And the R5 is designed for memory intensive workloads like data mining, in-memory analytics and simulations. And these are available in a similar spec, but can be configured with up to half a terabyte of RAM. AWS Systems Manager has a new feature called Ops Center, and this is a great new addition to Systems Manager because it enables you to aggregate issues, events, and alerts across multiple AWS services like CloudTrail, CloudWatch, CloudFormation, and AWS Config. And the console also provides quick resolution steps as well, ensuring key investigation data is available all in one place. You can now capture and inspect network traffic using VPC traffic mirroring. And this is a great new feature which enables you to detect and filter unusual network traffic patterns or behavior which could indicate an intrusion in your VPC. So it works in a similar way to a network tap, which monitors packets transmitted on a network between a specified source and destination. And you can even monitor the network packets exchanged by resources in two different AWS accounts. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were B, D, and E. And this was a tough question this week because only one person got it right, and that is Arlen Duncan III. And Arlen is a senior technician at Nordstrom in Seattle. So congratulations to Arlen. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt sticker and hand sign card on the way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.